And the war of words between the BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate and NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar is only escalating. A day after Narendra Modi blamed Pawar for the spate of farmer suicides in the Maharashtra, Pawar has hit back saying Modi needs to be treated at a mental hospital for speaking this way. Now the BJP has also taken a dig at Pawar saying it will apologize to him considering his mental condition. China and see a BJP leader now joining us on the phone line. Uh, China, the Pawar Modi uh, war of words escalating. We understand that Modi hit out at uh, Sharad Pawar over the farmer suicides. But Pawar uh, hitting right back. What, uh, what is the BJP going to do about this? Is there any action that you're going to be taking? And rightly so. I think that it's absolutely justified for Modi to question the agricultural minister when you come to meet the children had calamity after calamity and this happens to be your home of Maharashtra. I think that, you know, it's quite um, uh, funny in this political election environment that um, Mr. Pawar first sings praises about Mr. Modi, then he detracts his statement, retracts it and then says that, um, you know, that he is not fit mentally, which I think is an extremely demeaning comment. But I don't think we need to stoop low and even address um, uh, Mr. Pawar because one knows, seeing the track record, that he always sways the way the wind grows. And if the wind doesn't accept you, as in the party which is coming to power does not um, uh, welcome you, you automatically try to do a U-turn. So this is nothing but opportunistic politics. And I think that the voters clearly see through it. Right, uh, Shaina, but the thing is, a week before polling begins for the general elections, the quality of political discourse has seriously nosedived. And we see it, you, the BJP may actually blame the Congress and its allies, but we also see that there are certain leaders in the BJP that are doing the same thing. No, I disagree completely. If you've noticed, 90% of the speeches that Mr. Modi or any of our senior leadership is talking about, it is addressing issues which the country wants to be um, uh, talk, wants to be talking about, whether it is price rise, whether it is uh, unemployment, whether it's corruption allegations, whether it's food inflation, etc. And these are the issues which the BJP wants to address through our manifesto and our vision plan. I don't think that we need to get into this tutu mene. And it's unfortunate that people are so insecure of Modi ji that there is this kind of negative commentary when you should be having a proactive vision plan, especially when you're going into elections a couple of days from now. Right, China and C from the BJP, thank you so much for speaking uh, with headlines today. We also have Nalin Kohli joining us on the phone line. So your first reaction to this bitter war of words that has broken out between NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar and the BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi? But we seem to have lost the line there. But our correspondent Pankaj Khelkar also joining us on the phone line. Pankaj, China NC over there raising a point, but which has in fact been noticed over the past couple of months is that Sharad, the NCP stand on Modi has it's it's been it's it's been very mixed. There have been mixed signals because for once Pawar will uh, come out and you know praise Modi, and right now over there. Uh, Sharad Pawar hitting out very, very strongly at Narendra Modi after he went uh, he went after him over the farmer suicide issue. Sanjana Sharad Pawar, like if we have seen him a couple of days back, around uh, fortnight back, he was almost defending Modi on the 2002 riot. And as the election dates are coming near, the war of the fight is escalating. Pawar, as well as Chief Minister, they are attacking Narendra Modi round the corner, near the Satara's rally or Solapur's rally, and now latest is Jalna's rally. So what Pawar means to say is Modi has lost humanity. When it was in 2002 riot, he did not go to meet the victim's family members. When some of the NGOs in Gujarat were trying to help farmers in, uh, in Maharashtra, there Modi had ordered that what Sir Pawar had alleged in one of the rallies that Modi had ordered his police to file FIR against the NGO helping Maharashtra's 
farmers. And now again in Jalna, Pawan means to say that this person, the PM candidate of BJP who doesn't know the history, he doesn't know when Gandhiji had uttered some words like uh, British, uh, Britishers tell us out. So he means to say that uh, the person who doesn't know the history, who doesn't, uh, who has lost, who doesn't have humanity, should be treated. So it's a war of words. The elections are around the corner. Right. Right. Pankaj, I'll, I'll, I'll have to ask you to just stay on uh, stay on with us. We also have Sanjay Jha joining us on the phone line. Sanjay, this is really, you know, as, as the elections approach, the campaigning only getting bitter and per personal. Sharad Pawar coming out and saying that Narendra Modi needs to be treated for his mental condition. Well, you know, I, I, I can't comment on what Mr. Pawar has said. Uh, you know, in, in that sense, but you know, the point that I would like to make here is that Mr. Modi has been very sincere. I've given the example, one classic example of I heard the speech yesterday as reported in the media where he went on and on attacking Mr. Ashok Chavan. How can he openly say something so incorrect to the people of India when he knows that there is a BJP MP called Ajay Sanchetri, who is very closely related to Nitin Gadkari, the former BJP president, who has been charged by the CBI for having eight Binami flats in the other society. Now, that is perhaps they were more serious than any other allegation made so far in the other case. And here, Mr. Modi attacks Mr. Chavan. Fair enough, there is a case going on against Mr. Chavan. That's the process the CBI will investigate. Then Mr. Modi's continuous and deliberate and willful, uh, I would say, disingenuous propaganda has to be condemned in the strongest possible words. Right, but Sanjay, it, the solution to that definitely cannot be personal attacks and much name calling, can it? But I, I, I have just read, you know, I follow Mr. Digvijay Singh on Twitter, and all that Mr. Digvijay Singh has said is that, uh, you know, end of day, since Mr. Modi's team was trying to, you know, spread the word that just because Mr. Sharad Pawar had a meeting with him, that, you know, there was some kind of an undercurrent of understanding. I think Mr. Sharad Pawar has made it very categorical, not once but several times, that he is with the UPA. And if Mr. Sharad Pawar has a certain opinion on Mr. Modi, that's not something for me to comment on. Sanjay Jha from the Congress, thank you so much for speaking with headlines today. I also have a Rahul Narvekar, uh, former Shiv Sena leader who recently joined the NCP with uh, us on the phone line. Uh, Rahul, uh, Sharad Pawar coming out, making a rather personal attack against Narendra Modi, this war of words escalating. But more importantly, the NCP stance on Narendra Modi has not been very clear from the start. Because we've see, seen Pawar actually going out and praising Modi, then, uh, you know, trying to attempt to, to clear that and now coming out and hitting out at the BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate. Right, Rahul, if you can hear me. Yeah, we seem to have lost the line there, but uh, with Rahul Narvekar, uh, a recent uh, uh, leader who's joined the NCP, but we'll try and get back uh, to him um, uh, for more on the story.